How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Now, today, I'm going to test out Daniel Kalajuri. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I do apologise. But uh, this SPC, man, you can see right below me the requirements. An 84 rated team with one inform. That's so cheap. It's literally 50,000 coins. So with the card that he's got, I, I need to test this card out. I just have to. Now, tonight, I was actually going to do Kamavinga. I was going to move into Van Der Beek. So far... I haven't been able to get my hands on ASM. That will come in time. But, um, yeah, they, they were, they were going to actually be post ones as well. But obviously, you guys know, with a brand new card or anything like that, we do it at first impressions and instant reaction to the card. Plus, live gameplay as well. So, that's what we're going to do today. And, um, yeah, I've been working on um, Kamavinga, Van der Beek, Ericsson. Ericsson was actually really good. And Rusilon as well. So, they will all still be coming to the channel. Don't worry about that. Nanny too. But uh, today... Kalajiri time. I've seen the card and I was like, geez. This card could literally play anywhere. Defensive stat is his worst stat. But I believe with the medium high work rates and an anchor cam style. Could be one of his basic, like, amazing things. To play him in any position on the pitch. Especially CDM. Well, that's going to try my day. With that being said, let's get in to building a team. So there we have it, lads. We do have him in a team. Now, the main thing is he was on 10 chemistry. A lot of people were asking me prior to me actually doing the SBC, was how to get him into teams. Bundesliga's got an abundance of great players in the league, so it's not that difficult to um, get Kalajuri in there. Obviously, icons help if you want to keep to your, your main icons. I could, I could have literally done that. But I do want to change things up today, try this out, and see how he does. Now, before we even get into looking at the card, I'm going to show you the formation we're going to rock today and explain why I'm going to use him as a CDM. We're using a 4 2 3 one but the thing is, with my formation, the 4 2 3 1, we actually give the CDMs basically as much freedom as possible. So they actually just play like they would naturally. They're not going to stay back by instruction. They're not going to get forward by instruction. They're going to do what they want to do. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see how he actually does, does play. You know what I'm saying? So I know he's a, he's a right midfielder. I personally believe he'd be sensational in a 3-5-2 to get back and get forwards. I reckon he could be great as a Ram in this formation. And of course, he'd be great as a right back. I just think this gives the best of both worlds because I'll be able to showcase his defending and his offensive play at the same time. So that's why uh, we're going to rock him in CDM. Now, if you do want to get the best out of him defensively, an anchor is probably your best bet, right? Uh, boost the sprint speed up and everything like that. But because we're going to use him in that kind of defensive role, but also allow him to get forwards, I'm just going to leave a basic chem style on him. You look at all the boosts below me. They're fantastic, man. Uh, spin speed goes up by 5, attack and position, shot power. Of all these penalties, nobody cares about that. The passing goes up as well. They're dribbling. Well, that looks really good in the car. How tall is he? Six foot. See, see with the dribbling and like the agility and stuff like that, I still don't think he'll be that responsive when it does come down to dribbling, but I'm eager to see how good it could be. You know what I'm saying? And I'm expecting to be so fast as well. Medium high work rates, like I did say, he's naturally going to put more effort in defending than attacking. And that's just is what it is with that work rate. But um, I'm going to see if we can get the best out of him in the position that we're playing him today. Offensively, defensively, and see what he's like in both areas of his game. Four star combo, you'll have to see that. And of course, the six foot in terms of height. What's he's jumping? Oh, oh, oh. oh solid player, is that it? I was expecting more traits, to be honest. Well, that's what we're going to do now. Jump into gameplay, save his wave, and I can already tell you. 50,000 coins. Yes, he is. Let's see how good he is in game. I'm going to get him on the ball, man. I want to see how quick he does feel, or if he does feel quick. Wait, there, he's got a chance here, boys. Glass! Oh, the color jewelry! And he's got glasses as well. <laughs> well, goggles, but it's the same thing. I think he's got his face scan judging by the beard, boys. But again, even like from... The CDM there, he can, he can definitely get involved. He did well there. And this this guy's... By the way, this guy paused three times before even getting, like, kicking off, like, a... Uh, what's going on? Like, tell me, tell me. Like, what's the issue? Well, that's a ball, isn't it? Oh, Kalajuri's already on them. I didn't even instigate that one. Cross. Perfection, but... What's that? Pelly? That's Kafu's. Kalajuri, straight in the legs somewhere. Oh, what? Nice. And then I think Carlos Yuri's got the run this man. A couple of ball rolls or something. Oh, Mendy, get out the way. Spreads it. Carlos Yuri. Danny Olmo. He's getting in space a lot, isn't he? But uh, cross now. I think I've timed that well. Oh, I thought that was in, man. 
It's a good turn. Back into us. <laughs> oh, nice. He's definitely got the pace to wrath. Put him in a cell, mate. I don't know whether I've got on the outside or inside of this guy. That sounded proper horrific. We won the ball back anyways. Twice. Yeah, his pace, his acceleration is very, very nice, man. I've got options. Go middle. Chip. Oh, oh. Sound like a bloody... One of those seagulls are finding Nemo. I, I swear, every time I say mine, seagull in my head. Not literally, just figuratively. Ah, oh, what a pass! Nemo, finish it. Oh, dude, these chips have been letting me down today. Not, not just in this review either. I was playing champs earlier. That's mine, that's mine. See, seagull every single time. Sam Leto, back to Kalajuri. Didn't see that coming, did he? Because I didn't know I was going to do it. All that. I'm keep. Oh! Oh, that is a worst pass. That would have that would have been so nice, man. And then finesse. It's quite a powerful hit, to be honest. I was far too scared to hit him, but I would hit him in a heartbeat now. Oh, this is good, please. It begs to stick around. Free ball, mate. Go on, lad. Across the keeper. I don't, why, why is he sliding tackle him? Well, there. He doesn't see this coming. Oh, I'm so close, man. I need more options, boys. Chip that up. On the volley, son. The, the, oh, 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 oh. the dip on that, mate. Oh, oh. That was like a little roller coaster at Blackpool. You know, it's called the Big Dipper as well. Jeez. See, I, I like what Daniel Omo offers because he offers a different type of cam. What's a ball? Oh. Yeah, he's, he's like always making himself available for the pass. Not just like making runs in behind defenses. I really like that, man. And on, honestly, like that's why I, I enjoy doing reviews and changing my team every day. Because I forget that these players do that. Oh, who was that? Was that Kalajiro with the shot? Yeah, I, f I forget why I liked them in the first place and why they're still in my club. Varane! Well, that's obvious. Varane's just a legend on this game. Worked though. I tried. Oh, I did cancel it. Oh, why did. Was that Adams that stopped his run? I found Danny Olmo, the chip. This is by Kalajiri, finished by Danny Olmo. Yeah, this guy's went ultra pressing, isn't he? Madness. I think he should start this second half, like, uh, let's, let's just go for it. But it's gonna leave so many holes in your defense, man. Like, look, I, I've got like 10 assists right there to left foot from there, please. Oh, there's so many assists I could get right now with Kalajiri, it's mad. But I'm gonna try and get a shot. What? Turn again. It's, it's, got him, I've got him every, I, he might as well be an encyclopedia. I read it when I was five, and I, I, I still know about the encyclopedia. I think it teaches you, like... Well, what does the encyclopedia do? I swear I knew exactly what the encyclopedia was five seconds ago. Oh, yes! It's like, um... Paris is the capital of France, isn't it? I think it is, anyways. Is that what it is? Or animals or something? I'm gonna have to look this up after this, um... This video, because that's actually really annoyed me now. Right. Just remember, he's pressing every single opportunity. Fully, son! How the hell did you save that? That is Pelly! It's a good pass. Good accuracy on it. Then over the top. It's just perfect. Stop saving my shots, my nan. Well, not my nan, but my nan. Oh, actually, do you know his name is Mignon? I seen it on French TV yesterday. When Klaus got uh, his call up, they called my nan Mignon. So I think his name is Mignon. Kalaj we're there, watch. Kalajuri, go on, son! That's my pen. That's my pen. I was going to tap that in. It was a free goal. You little sh... So there we have it, the lads. That was Kalajuri. And I've got to say, he actually impressed me more than I thought he would. His, his offensive place was really good as well. It's just, he, it, I don't know. I did miss some chances. That obviously could have been my fault uh, for the shot types is what it is when it comes to that. It just goes to show, though, he's effective at both things. Like, defensively, he was cutting out passes, he was tackling, he was very aggressive in the challenge as well. Uh, yeah, I liked everything he had to offer. Basically, this guy, what's, what's the word for multiple positions? I, I don't like real life to call, like, handymen or women. I, I don't know if they've changed that these days. Uh, handymen, they, like, do, like, odd jobs. Like, go around fixing, like, plumbing, electricity, Roofs, 
wooden poles outside. You know what I'm saying? They do everything. They're, they're the jack of all trades. That's it. That's the exact words. This guy is a jack of all trades. He can play in every position and do a great job in every position. It's probably one of the more complete... The utility! Dude, I am I'm nailing these. He's one of the most perfect utility players on this game. Versatility. Utility. Same thing. Uh, yeah, he, he can play a right back. He can play a right midfielder. The position that he's in. CDM. He can play in an offensive free. Uh, 4 2 3 one as the Ram. He can play right wing with come back on defence. And he'll come back on the defence. So this guy can literally play anywhere on the pitch. If you want him to play box to box as a centre mid. And he can definitely do that as well. And you would have seen that via the instructions I had on today. Uh, I'll go back and cover that as well. Because I used a 4 2 3 one Pretty much balanced on everything. And uh, his instruction as the CDM was to do whatever he wants. So balance defense, balance attack. You can go forwards, you can come backwards, you can do what you want. And yeah, I did have cover wing on it as well because I did want to see him more outside as well since he is a right midfield. Just to kind of see what he would do in certain positions if he does float down the right hand side. And he does have cover wing on because if Cafu goes to a certain level, he can just float in and cover Cafu's position. If Cafu's out and vice versa, and it just really, really works. Kalajuri is fantastic over those couple of games. Um, you would have seen some great passing from Kalajuri. You would have seen some great tackles from Kalajuri. Scored as well. Dribbling's very nice. One of the key things is acceleration. He's very quick. Very, very quick on the sprints. And of course, with utility players being able to play in many different positions, you want good stamina. You want it to be utilized for the full 90, 120 minutes. He's got 94. Fantastic. Um... If I had to criticise anything with his cards, I don't know what it would be. Maybe work rates if you want someone playing on the last man. And I know like Danny Olmo has always been one of those as well, right? Because exactly medium high. But he does have a benefit to that. And I've been over this during the gameplay as well. With Danny Olmo, he drops deeper for the pass. And he's always free for the pass. And then he can play make from deep. Uh, than he actually would in a central cam getting behind the striker. He performs a very valuable role in the team. And I think the exact same goes for Kalajuri. So I think like that doesn't even make too much of a difference. Uh, Stat-wise, I can't critique any of them, to be honest. Nah, nah, I can't. Um, finishing, I would have liked to be a little bit more precise. But I'm guessing like a hunter marksman or anything that you want to put on him. If you do play him advanced, we'll sort that out. What's the card, man? Uh, overall rating I'm going to give is 9.4. I reckon he's uh, he's the ultimate utility player. Alliteration. UU. Ultimate utility. Oh, then I've ruined it with player. Uh, no, I can't, I can't think of any other use. That would have been uh, nice for a triple alliteration. Uh, but yeah, 9.4. Fantastic. And uh, dude, enjoyments. Difference. I would say different. It's not going to bring that exhilarating like Ronaldinho feel, the Neymar's. Sir Maximum, still haven't been reviewed him yet, by the way. But uh, he's not going to bring you that feel, but he's going to give you a different type of enjoyment on the game. Something where you can literally slot him into any position and he'll do a great job. So for that, I'd probably give him 9.0 enjoyment. He did well for me, I had fun using the cards. And uh, as far as the value for coins, let's get a price update check, boys. Last time I looked, it was 50k. And I've refreshed it, it's still the exact same price. So 50,000 coins, guys. You've got um, fodder. I keep forgetting that word, by the way. Fodder. You guys have got fodder. You've got high-rated cards in your team. Uh, dude, that'll take the price down to basically free. I mean, 20k, maybe liquid or something like that. If you don't have the fodder in your club to get him done. But he's a very good player. I definitely do recommend him. Value for coins, straight. 10 out of 10. Guys, this is my first impressions of uh, Mr. Kalajuri. He's called Daniel. Daniel Kalajuri. Uh, the Italian from Augsburg. Oh, we're there. I want to cover that as well. Because obviously these do get upgraded depending on uh, getting into games. Wins. Wait, what is it for the, the midfielders? So their game's from the 1st of April. Wolfsburg at home. Mainz. Uh, buying away. Jeez, that's not an easy one. Hurt of Berlin and Bochum. I was big at 15th. Herf is below them. Where's Botcham? Botcham's like mid table. I think it's they've lost the last two games. It does, um. It's Color Jury starts. Because obviously he does need to play three of the games as well. Um. Color Jury. He does. He plays right mid. So Color Jury did start the last game. 
I don't know if he got subbed. Did he get... No, nah, he didn't get subbed. It's got arrows on the page. So uh, he does start and stuff. Um, I don't know how well he's doing personally this year in terms of, like, assist and stuff. He scored three goals in the Bundesliga. Fair play, fair play. But, um, yeah, I reckon he could potentially get the upgrades. Of course, they do need to win. He needs to play three games. Um, goals and assists, that'll be a different one, right? So I reckon he could go to a 92. I think more realistically would be 90 for Kalajuri though. But guys, they need to basically win. There's a big game for Augsburg and it was the team below them. Who did I say it was? Was it Hertha? It might have been Hertha. But guys, thank you very much for watching my first impressions of Daniel Kalajuri. Let me know your thoughts on this massively versatile player in the comment section below. Lads, hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Oh, camera finger review next. And that's going to have all the details on as well. So make sure you join me for that in the morning. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.